this is a general tarot card reading. It's designed for any Cancerians out there, whether you have that as your sun, moon or rising sign. This is recorded um, at the end of June, just after the full moon. So happy birthday, Cancer. Um, I hope that you have an amazing month and that you have beautiful time. Whatever it is that you're doing, whoever it is that you're sharing it with, perhaps you're just sharing it with yourself. This is um, recorded, as I said, just at the end of June after the full moon. And this is very much a time astrologically where everything's a bit uncertain still. I think that maybe change is happening whether we like it or not. And we are being guided to just go with it. Whether it is messing up our plans, well, and we just have to see what spirit and um, the planets throw at us and know that everything still is going to work out. It maybe is just going to change our paths a little bit as to how we get to that point that we are trying to achieve. So I only take cards that jump out at me, as you can probably see. And we have the underlying energies of Five of Wands, which is um, perhaps quite a good card based on the situation that we have at the moment astrologically. And we have the Judgment. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands. In fact, I'm going to put those across there. And we're going to put the Seven of Wands and the Six of Pentacles down there. I will try and remember to do an oracle card reading at the end of this as well, just to see as to whether it ties everything in. So, the Five of Wands, we've got something else which is wanting to come out, which is the Two of Cups, which backs up the Three of Cups here. So, Five of Wands. Five of Wands, Cancer, is you having a bit of... It's kind of play fighting. There's maybe somebody who's pushing your buttons a little bit. It can be a bit of a power struggle. It can just be that you've got some niggles in your head um, and in your life which are, well, holding you back. You also have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a lovely card. It is you sharing your, or swapping cups with somebody important in your life. I think that this is, yeah, what else do we have? So we have Judgment, which is the only major arcana card that we have. Have the Three of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords is the end of a cycle, the end of something emotional which has been happening to you. He's not dead, he's very much alive. He is lying by a beach and the sun's coming up, so the darkness is, is going. So whatever dark... Uh, emotional difficult situation you have been in it is coming to an end the seven of wands backs that up because the seven of wands is about feeling a bit defensive there are you've got your your wand here which is um, your your dreams and your desires and the things that you perhaps adventures and um, you know, um, just general. Oh, goodness me, my brain's not working today. Um, you're you're feeling you're feeling defensive, but you're on top of it. You are you're ready for what life might throw at you next. There's a little salamander down here, and he is. Salamanders are renowned in mythology for being fireproof. Nobody go and try and burn a salamander because they are not fireproof and you will be doing something very wrong. But in mythology, salamanders are seen to be fireproof. So this is saying that because you've got the little salamander there, 
you may feel as though you are having to fight you will not be put down nobody will burn you i think that perhaps you feel as though somebody is trying to but can you see you've got the little salamander down here as well just where my fingers just at the bottom of the screen see that there see little salamander again so this is showing that although you might be having some trials and tribulations at the moment you are on top of it and you just have to see that perhaps this is linked to that this ten of swords is this something romantic potentially but whoever's pushing your buttons I think that this is the end of them doing it. You have, I'm just looking here, you have, you have three people here, you have three people here, and you have the three people there. The Six of Pentacles is saying that whilst you are defensive in because of whatever has been happening to you, these two are linked. Judgment. Judgment is about letting go. It's about moving away from this difficult situation and whoever it is that's pushing your buttons and realizing that there are better things coming that you need to take a step forward regardless of kind of how scary it is and, and whether you've been you're you're a bit nervous to do it because of this situation and, and how hurt you feel but that it's i almost want to say the truth will set you free if you are able to see the situation for what it really was this might be it doesn't have to be love um but i think that it is a a, a situation where you've you've been emotionally involved that if you can see it for what it really is the truth will set you free and you will get out of this almost this coffin well they are in coffins this coffin here this this desperate situation where you felt like you couldn't move forwards and it it will start this new life for you perhaps it will bring somebody into your life new the three of cups i hate this a lot of people say when they're tarot reading all oh, this is a third party to me this is saying that you need to go out with your friends and you need to just enjoy yourself because stuff happens, you know, the, 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 the world is changing. It's a difficult place for us to live and we mustn't be beating ourselves up. We just have to grab every day, be grateful that we're alive, that the sun's come up and grab every chance of happiness that we possibly can. Especially if we have been in this difficult situation where we have felt as though we're hurt and we're we're trapped or, or that we've been wronged so go out and enjoy yourself go and get back in touch with your friends or your family whoever you can go and have a giggle with and have a nice time with and, and put a smile on your face the six of pentacles despite having gone through a lot and you are feeling defensive the six of pentacles is saying that you should be very you should take the moral high ground that whatever this is that has put you in this position, you should be very gracious about it because it has done you a favour. You should see it as it being a good thing that's happened. The Six of Pentacles is about sharing wealth and being community spirited. He's giving money here to the poor and whilst I'm not saying you have to donate to charity, it's showing that you you need to be this generous, generous spirited person. As part of that, not only is that just a, a really 
good way to live your life but it also means that you're going to get rid of this emotional baggage because as I was saying we can't live in the past we just have to live each day as it comes and be grateful for it and if you weren't taking the moral high ground and letting this this resentment and this this the defenses that you've had to put up if you, if you have to keep yourself in that mental state then you will never get out of this situation so see that this happened for a reason see the truth for what it is and you will be set free and maybe you will find love maybe that's what this is saying that that you you will get to the point of of having that really beautiful special person come into your life so I'm going to do an oracle card um, to see as to whether any of this makes sense. These are John Holland's spirit message cards. We shall see what is there for cancer, please, spirit. If you can give us a card for cancer. I'm going to take that card because that was doing its best to jump out. The card that we have is take a moment, stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. Perhaps this is about you with this Seven of Swords, that perhaps you are thinking about reacting to whoever it is that's been pushing your buttons and is, has made you feel defensive and has put you in this position. But as it says, don't, don't rush into a decision. You have to see the truth for what it is and be this moderate voice of reason for yourself because it's not worth it. It will only keep you trapped here. So take a moment to not react, let it go and it will, it will set you free. Cancer, I hope that's been useful. It will resonate with some, I hope it won't resonate with everybody. Everybody's on a different timeline energetically. If it has resonated and has helped, then I would love if you would like and um, leave me a comment. I'm trying to grow my channel and um, things like that spur me on to keep at it and, and keep doing them for everybody. Have a lovely um, birthday month and I will speak to you again soon. Bye.